Kushida. Name's Katsuki Bakugo. It's Eijiro Kirishima. I'm Deki Kaminari. The name's Shoto Todoroki. Hi, my name's Ben. My favorite cereal is bread and water. You guys want me to look at My Hero Academia cringe, and I swear to God, if I just find edits of Denki here making D's nuts jokes, I'm gonna send so many angry letters to your parents and send you to Bible camp. Ben, you should react to My Hero Academia fans cringe. Not everyone in the community is like that, but oh my god, some of the MHA kids are horrible. Alright, look, they they cannot be that bad. I mean, I don't watch My Hero Academia. I want to inject Dabby's man milk straight into my blood. Right. Okay then. I don't know what a dabby is, but I feel like my first impression of him is already tainted. What's this video here though? Please. Yeah, I don't really know what these people are doing. I was trying to find clips to put in this video and honestly, I just found so many videos of people pretending to be pregnant. Like, I, I don't know what a Bakugo is, I don't know what a Todoroki is, I don't- <laughs> I really have no idea what any of this stuff even means. But what I do get from it is that it's not so much the anime that is cringy, it's the people who get so involved with it that they sort of make it their entire personality to like it. Which then leads to them just uploading the most bizarre things online. <laughs> So that's what we're going to be looking at today. I don't really get it. I don't watch the show, but I can understand that not everyone who watches My Hero Academia is like this. So please do not harass anyone who generally enjoys the show. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe as it really helps me out. With all that being said, let's just get into the video. I mean, you've got to admire the confidence of people actually posting stuff like this. Like, you know damn well that everyone who was on that train was just staring at him like, what are, you, what are you even doing? Like, I don't know if people have ever been on a train in England, but they're not good. I, I know for a fact that if you're on a train after a long day and even stressing trying to find the right train, you, you don't want to be sat behind someone doing something like this. From Popeyes, do you want a bite of my chicken breast? Here, puppy. Bruh. I know you haven't eaten today. Take a bite. Here. I'll help. Watch me. Mm, puppy, this chicken's bussin'. Anyone who unironically says this is bussin' needs to get in the bin. I don't even know if this even is My Hero Academia, but what, what, <laughs> what even is this? This is just really freaky to look at. I don't know why, but the way he just eats that chicken just makes me want to slap him. It's as simple as that. I mean, I personally just get really cringed out when someone eats like a dog. It just really irks me. I mean, this honestly just feels more like a hostage situation. Seriously, like, it's just weird. I also don't know what kind of story is going to be in this show if someone needs help with eating chicken. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to blame the show for making something like this, but if you go out of your way and you make this, that, that's just kind of weird. It's not even kind of weird, it, it is just straight up weird. And I don't know if this is the person they're referencing, Ta Tamami, 16 or 17 years of age, yeah. Don't make edits like this, it's just weird. Like, I'm doing you a favor by telling you this. If you make something like this, you're gonna look back in a few years and just think, what was I doing? Why didn't someone have enough money to send me away to an island and die? Like, what is this, man? Anything with a baby voice just generally makes me cringe. I mean, it, does this even relate to anyone? Does this, anyone who watches the show, does this actually mean anything to anyone? I think the character they're even referencing here is Kirishima, if that's how you say it, and they've just turned him into a baby. Why? I mean, fair play for having the confidence to post this, but I would love to know your school attendance after somebody found this clip of you. Bruh, the mom... <laughs> the mom cringed so hard, she Fortnite emoted. I mean, honestly, the kid wasn't really doing anything which warranted cringe, but to be honest, the mom literally just Fortnite emoted. 10 out of 10, this mom is confirmed an NPC. You gotta love the fact that she actually went over to comfort her. I'm sorry you had to see me like this. Somebody 
F in chat, they've been diagnosed with the big gay. Well, reading a little bit online, I, I read that a lot of people get quite annoyed when they ship these two people together because apparently they're straight, but they're just trying to make it out that they're gay. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with that, but people get really defensive about it in the fact that they are, and it's just a way the fandom, I guess, sort of sees them. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me because I don't watch the show, but let me know your thoughts and opinions on this matter because I really see quite a divide in a lot of people when it comes to talking about this. You're the puppy. My buzzy, beautiful sunshine nugget. Looks like I found myself a pebble. I don't know if it was their genuine intention to make the artwork so crooked, but seriously, what is this? That right there is honestly the fuel of nightmares. It's just an abomination, quite literally. That's honestly not even the worst thing. This is the worst thing. You've got this like man pig thing. Just generally looking at the characters, I, I have no idea who this is even meant to be. It's just honestly terrifying. Mom, I know I'm a disappointment, but look, I just made anime girl jiggle butt on TikTok. Please, please love me, bro. This really can't honestly be a normal thing that happens in this fandom. Like, if you are making this type of thing, you need to go outside and touch a tree. I honestly can't think of a single reason why anyone would want to make something like this. People honestly just can't seem to enjoy a simple thing anymore without making it some weird... I can't even say the word, just a weird thing out. You know for a fact as well, you would only ever find anyone online who would do something like this. You'd never find someone who would openly admit that, hey guys, look what I just made. Absolute Discord mods over here. The prettiest smile hides the deepest secrets. The prettiest eyes have cried the most. The kindest heart felt the most pain. Guys, I don't think I can record anymore. This is just so sad. Must be some really hard-hitting stuff in this show. I've actually seen someone trying to cosplay this guy in the top left. And I've got to be honest, looking at this image right now, it wasn't very good. And I think you guys can all agree with me that this is absolutely terrifying. I cannot with this Ooh, community. Are you sure this is what I should wear on my date with Midoriya? I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate you letting me borrow all of this, but... Uh... I'm not very comfortable. You're not very comfortable. I'm not very comfortable. I'm not very comfortable. I have to watch these videos. This is the first time I've ever had any interaction with My Hero Academia. And I mean, TikTok has really just become like a breeding ground for people to show off what something is, but sometimes not in the best way. But I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I wouldn't say I've lost brain cells watching this video, but I'm definitely a little bit more handicapped now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. You can follow me on my socials down below. I always try and respond to messages and anything you guys send me is always something good to look at when it comes to a video. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope I haven't upset too many people with what I've just seen. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.